All right, so the next step is to add some uh, uh, a shell over this. Like, so I'm going to use plaster bandages. We'll set this thing. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama esta madre? Uh, tela de yeso. Para darle un soporte a esto, porque al quitarlo, it would be flimsy. Estaría muy, muy aguado. So I'm using warm water just to get for it to set faster. Estoy usando agua tibia para que se se seque más pronto este yeso. So I'm going to be doing this all the way around. Give it maybe two or three coats of plaster bandages. Voy a hacer como tres capas para que esté bastante grueso. Okay, so I took this off already. Wasn't that easy. No era tan fácil sacarlo, but you know, it's off. Wait a minute, I better mark it. Tengo que marcarlo. Okay, I'm marking it so I know which side goes to what side. Remember that you need to wash this very good because there's a release agent on here. Hay que lavar esto super bien uh, porque lo esprayamos con esa cosa, el spray ese. Uh, entonces tiene que lavar muy bien para poder pintarlo. Alright, again, I'm gonna spray it with mold release. Vamos a sprayarlo para que no se pegue la resina. Okay, I'm gonna use Smoothcast 300Q. Voy a usar este, esta resina. Uh, this cures very quickly. Now, I'm not sure how much I need for this guy here, so I'm just going to wing it. So I'm going to test it out with uh, 16 ounces. Double that. So I might have some left over. Then again, I may not. Who knows? We'll find out. Vamos a ver cuánto necesitaré. No sé. Pero vamos a ver qué pasa. It seems like a lot, but... We'll find out. Se ve como que es bastante, pero ya veremos. Actually, maybe not. And cross your fingers, I have enough, or at least I have more than enough. And actually, it doesn't seem like it does. We'll find out. Nope, not enough. No bastante. Yeah, a little bit more. So, well, we'll let that set a bit. This goes quick. I'll need another, I don't even know, a quarter of a cup. We'll see. And this guy goes quick. There you go. Crazy. Right, before it really cures, I'm going to add the other one. Alright, so... 15 minutes later, let's check it out. It's still hot. Todavía está caliente. Apenas pasaron 15 minutos. Damn, yep, it's hot. But it's ready to demold, I think. Let's test it out. There you have it. Okay, so we got this all set. I thought, uh, está todo esto listo. Uh, they're going to have dowels in here so he can put them together instead of making a solid piece. Uh, I think it'd be a lot easier that way than just, you know, big ass box. So I'm going to drill. But this is slippery here, so está resbaloso. So I'm going to use some silly putty so it doesn't move on me. Para que no se mueva. Okay, there we have them. What I'm going to do is pour in some uh, resin in here. Well, echarle resina aquí adentro. That will help also, you know, um, seal the, uh, or, or put in place the dowels, which they're not coming out anyways. I also uh, painted them, you know, uh, one's red, one's white, so one's white, one's red, so he knows where it goes. And there you go. Alright, now we need to do the last piece, uh, but 
we can't drill this way. I mean, we could, but no need to. Uh, se puede, ya tenemos que hacer el otro, pero no, no vamos a hacer los ahorros aquí. So what we're going to do, let's turn him around. Alright, so here it is. Alright, so to paint bricks, how the hell do you do that? Para pa pintar este tabiques, quién sabe cómo chingado se hace. There's so many different uh, colors when it comes to bricks, so let's just start throwing some paint in there and see what happens. Vamos a mezclar de un poco de pintura y a ver qué qué sale. Let's start off with some pink. So, un poquito de cafecito oscuro. Now, como rojisco. And I'm just going to do different ones randomly. And we'll see where that takes us. You in December so we can talk with you and let you know the date. Thanks a lot. Come on, Papi. All right. All right. So, as you saw, como vieron, I started with pink. Then I added a little bit of... Uh, I guess brick color, uh, un color. Quién sabe qué chingado será este color. Um, then some dark brown, and you don't want it pink, so I'm just gonna go back with this color. Voy a regresar con este, and spray the whole thing and see what happens. If I don't like it, I'll well, start all over again. Okay, we're going to seal this, and we're gonna add the the grout. And then we'll add probably some, some details on there. Unos detalles después de sellarlo. That'll get me inside a lot easier. Okay, now this is for my client's instructions. Okay, buddy, this is how you want to put this guy on. You want to like lift this up just slightly, not too much. Slide this in, and that's in. All right. Now the tough part is the goblin. Okay, so you want to. Put this guy in there. Oh, wait, I forgot. There's two holes here. It goes in the back, all right? This one goes in the back hole, not this one. Don't pay attention to that guy. Put this guy in. You want to kind of like bend, bend this, but not too much. Just enough to slide him in there, all right? One more time. Pull this out. Kind of wiggle it. He's out. Put this guy in. Bend, and he's in. Now for the smoke, there's just two holes here. The middle finger goes right in this guy. There's a magnet here, there's a magnet there. Put the middle finger in here, like that. Take him off, all right, middle finger, and in there, and slides in. That way it won't fall off. For the two hands, as you can see, there is no dowel or anything like that, but the magnets are strong enough to just put them in. Just like that. All right? Here or like that, but uh, there you go. The mask, same thing, it's there. Strong magnets, so works pretty good. All right. As for the heads, there's no, ne you know, no magnet was necessary. They go on pretty good. So you just get him in here and he's on. All right. Take him off. Second one, same thing. 
and he's on. Okay guys, so here he is. Aqui está. And here he is with uh, his other head. Aquí está con la otra cabeza. Okay, everybody. Till next time. Hope you learned something. Till la próxima.